Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to The Packed Life. Guys, today we have an absolutely awesome leg burner buster for you. We've got a classic benchmark CrossFit workout, but with a, su a sweet little twist um, to try and work through some of those lockdown blues. Guys, this one is an absolute cracker. All right, so what we're gonna be doing, guys, is we're doing the workout named Karin, which traditionally is 150 wall balls for time. Now, I know that a lot of you guys don't have wall balls at home. Some of you do, in which case you can definitely use those today. But for those of you who don't, guys, we're gonna be doing thrusters. All right, so dumbbell or kettlebell thrusters today, and either double hand or single hand. But there is a catch to today's workout before we get to Rafi on the demonstration side. Guys, this one is going to be an EMOM as well. So 150 wall balls for time. Every minute's on the minutes, you're gonna spend the first 20 seconds doing a straight arm plank today. All right, so this is obviously a little bit challenging. It's gonna put some extra fatigue onto the core as well as the shoulders, guys, which you're gonna feel later on. Um, and we're gonna try and get through those 150 wall balls as fast as we can. All right, so the, the demonstration, our focal point for today is gonna to be um, on, the, on the thruster. And we're gonna show you a couple of variations of that. But we just wanna show you um, what we're gonna be doing on the plank side before we get to that. All right, so guys, in your plank, we're doing a straight arm plank today. So if Rafi now extends her arm straight, yeah, good. Okay, we're gonna lift up the hips a little bit higher there. Perfect. Guys, we're gonna make sure that the hands are stacked straight underneath the shoulders. The abs are squeezed tight, squeezed tight. The glutes are squeezed tight. The quads are squeezed tight. And we're gonna hang out there for 20 seconds until we can start our thrusters. All right, excellent stuff. Okay, so guys, let's have a quick look at what those actual thrusters look like and the different variations that we can use today. All right, guys, so today we're working through the, the dumbbell thruster. Um, either with a single hand movement or a double hand movement, you guys can choose depending on how heavy the weight is that you guys have. All right, so we're gonna start off with the, the general squat mechanics of this in our setup position. So in terms of foot position, guys, this is your normal squatting stance. So everyone's gonna be slightly different here, but traditionally the, the, the heels are gonna be straight underneath the shoulders and those toes might be turned out slightly. From there, guys, Rafi's got the dumbbell head if she's doing a single hand like this. She's got the dumbbell head resting on her shoulder and you'll see that her elbow is just in front of that dumbbell as well. This is really important. Okay, from here, guys, she's gonna push the hips back and down, maintain her lumbar curve, knees track over the toes in a normal squat and she'll do two or three for us like that. So nice, simple squat mechanics. And then guys, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add in this big and violent, aggressive hip, uh, hip extension to be able to create some momentum to help out the smaller muscle groups, which are the shoulders. Once she's reached hip extension, and only once she's reached hip extension, then she's going to drive that dumbbell overhead. Excellent stuff. All right, so guys, a couple of ways you can think about that is also to make sure that you squeeze those glutes nice and tight on the way up, and that'll make sure that the hips pop forward to create that power we're looking for. All right, the other option for today, guys, is to hold this in a, in a front rack position, but with both hands on the dumbbell. Nothing else changes, except that we need to make sure that now we really squeeze those abs tight as we go overhead to make sure that we don't lose that neutral spine position as we go through. And Rafi can do one more for us. Excellent stuff. Guys, that is the dumbbell thruster, single hand, double hand, um, and some little uh, points of performance to try and help you make sure you master that. We'll catch you guys for another tip soon.